AI has outdone itself once again. Researchers at Osaka University in Japan have figured out how to draw what you are thinking about. Watch to the end to see just how accurate these pictures are. But before we get into the pictures, let's figure out how this is even possible in the first place. You've probably heard about Midjourney, the AI that generates images from text prompts. The algorithm that Midjourney uses to generate images is similar to what the researchers use to create images from your mind. It is called stable diffusion. How does the stable diffusion algorithm work? It uses deep learning to map text descriptions to image features. I'll be making a detailed video about it later on, so make sure to subscribe for that. Obviously, your brain doesn't output a text description, so how can this AI generate images from your brain? This is possible because the researchers added extra parameters to stable diffusion. This allowed fMRI image data to be used in the same way as text descriptions. fMRI stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It is a type of brain scan that detects changes to blood flow in different regions of the brain over time. So, when the testers look at a photo, their temporal lobes predominantly register information about what is in the image. This includes things like people, objects, and scenery. The occipital lobe predominantly registers the other details of the image. This includes things like layout, perspective scale, and position of the content. Taking this brain scan, we can convert these patterns into an image using AI. Quick break from the video. I'm launching a new app that uses OpenAI's GPT model to solve your homework. This model is trained on GPT-4 and will be trained on homework questions and answers from websites like Chegg and Coursera. It has a built-in virtual tutor that will help you with any of your homework, no matter what field you are in or what difficulty your homework is. It's also mobile friendly. While it is currently in beta, we are adding new features constantly, so make sure to check it out. Sign up at studymaster.ai. To capture all of these brain scans, the researchers used a data set from the University of Minnesota. It is called the Natural Scenes Data Set, or NSD. It contains thousands of images and their correlating fMRI scans. This allowed them to train stable diffusion to recognize and translate fMRI images to generated images. Side note, people don't realize that AI cannot be trained without data. Data collection and refinement is actually more important than the algorithms and models being used. Without good data, AI models won't be accurate. This is why AI-generated data needs to be verified and proved to be accurate. Anyways, here is an example of how stable diffusion works. Say the viewer saw an image of this clock. Using fMRI scans, stable diffusion builds the image iteration by iteration until it finally forms a final image that resembles the original. Look at this image. This is an early iteration of stable diffusion in the generation of the clock. It looks more like a tornado. Now look at the final product. Looks a lot more similar, right? Look at the rest of these images. Pretty awesome. So yeah, it's awesome, but can it actually read your mind? The answer is not yet. Since this research used only four participants, it would only work accurately on those four. This is because the model has only been trained on them. A fifth participant would have different scans pertaining to the same image and would not be able to generate images as accurately. Nonetheless, this breakthrough is amazing. It shows how AI can be used everywhere, especially in the medical field. Maybe in the future, we will be able to detect mental illness and neurological problems using brain scans and AI. The revolution is just beginning. What do you think? Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Peace.